Hey everybody, Death Adder in the Garden of the Death Shop again. <laughs> I'll try to keep things nice and calm here. Say it's getting towards the end of strawberry season, so I only got a modest about three quarters of a pound on two days turnaround this time. You can see I still got some fruit in there. Not quite ready yet. Say we're rolling around to where the radishes are here. Got these nice little blossoms on there. I just decided to let them flower. I mean, I've got radish seeds and all, but yeah, I just decided I'm just gonna let them flower. That way the bees can have something to eat. Black raspberries, getting close. Not quite there yet. I'll show you here. See if you take your fingers on one of these and all you gotta do is just roll. And if it doesn't roll off, you know they're not ready yet. I also know they're not ready because they're not shiny. Usually they start being about shiny like just that one piece is on that one. So they're still a ways off. See, weird. I got potatoes growing. Shouldn't be where they are. We got leeks right beside them, which makes me happy that I got some extra leeks that are coming. Uh, got my other potatoes up here that look like they're doing bad, but they're not. More on that in a second here. You can see I staked up around where my artichokes are because uh, I think deer decided to come and eat some peas. <laughs> now, here's the deal. I wasn't actually planting peas to eat them myself. I was actually planting them because I was hoping to attract the quail back. So they like legumes. But uh, I decided to find myself a nice... These are the fronds from the... Uh, <laughs> that I chopped off of the uh, shallots when I found out that ch chopping the fronds off will actually help me out in the long run. So I did that. And now hopefully they'll be perfect deer deterrent so they don't eat the rest of my peas because there's enough peas where I can actually make a meal or something out of them. So I probably will. Like I said, I was planting them more for the, uh, for the ground. That's where I did the leeks last year. This is where I had the leeks this year. So... These leeks seem to be doing okay, although see over here, I pushed in right there and right there where the deer had step, stepped earlier. One of them stepped right on a leek, a little punk. Got some garlic, which I found out they don't like, which is why I put those fronds up there. They're all in the same family as are these shallots, which is why those have not been eaten. I also cut those off because if you let them go to seed, apparently it... Uh, isn't as good for the uh, stuff underneath. So if you chop those up, like take a look at that, man. I'm gonna have some massive shallots there. It's starting to, starting to pop. Okay, so I had to look this up here. Because my potatoes were starting to, starting to brown on me. Okay, potatoes, a uh, 90 day cycle. So a little bit over 90 days and then you let the tubers cure underground. Okay, so here's the deal. I planted these in March, late March. So April, May, June. So they're right on time for starting to come down. Unfortunately, vacation's coming. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll cure in the ground while I'm gone and not rot due to watering. And hopefully when I come back, I'll be able to harvest a whole crap ton of potatoes. You see right there, there's a nasty hornets. Hornets have started to invade the yard. They're coming from elsewhere though. I found a couple small uh, small spots in my rocks in my the front yard there where I decided to, uh, you know, one of these days I'm gonna throw all the rocks because Re Wes told me he didn't, wouldn't mind having the rocks. So I might throw those over there because I'm really looking to turn that into sand with a, uh, with a uh, uh, lighthouse. One that looks like the Coquille River Lighthouse, the one that Heather and I got married at. As you can see down here, we got blueberries, just a few blueberries. Nothing ready yet, of course. And we got a dragonfly up here. We love dragonflies. Say, at one time I considered myself the king of the dragonflies because everywhere I went, they went with me. I might still be because they seem to follow me. <laughs> then of course the corn which is not coming up in, at, at all yet which I will have to figure out something to do because if there is deer that are coming back into the yard they're going to want to try and eat my corn so 
I'm gonna have to do something to keep them from eating it. And no, I'm not gonna eat them. Got a chopper going overhead. But all in all, yeah, that's what's going on in me. Get a couple containers here because, uh, yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of red raspberry. How to get to work. These guys here, take a look, they have not flowered yet. They're late season. So by the time I come back from vacation, those will be pollinated and probably be ready to go. So, By the way, in case you've been wondering about my other videos, I did put a note in the last update that I gave you guys, but... Uh, yeah, the, uh, as far as the vacation videos go, yeah, I haven't had a whole heck of a lot of time. I've got so many that I need to put up. And I need to, like, find them, figure out which ones would be good to put up and edit them. So, just haven't had a lot of time because most of the time has been spent either doing the garden, doing the yard, and I have to come back up here and weed whack again, as you can see. Level everything down, and then uh, I think once I do this time, I'll do some, uh, do some uh, non-toxic uh, weed control, which for me would be uh, Dawn Epsom salt and vinegar. I know, I know, vinegar, they say lasts longer in the ground than Roundup, but you know what, it's natural. Yeah, so I'll take that over chemicals any day. Then of course up here, everything grows like wildfire, like the raspberries. Just trying to take over this walkway here. It's just insane sometimes how this works. Anyway, I will show you guys later. This time, I'm probably not gonna show you how much I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a lot of raspberries though. I can guarantee you that. Last time I got probably, I'd say probably a good uh, pound strawberries, pound raspberries, which is really good for how small some of these guys are. Just take a look, they're finger tippies. But they roll when you go there and put your finger on them. So that means they're ready to rock and roll. So anyway. Did that saying? I'll catch you later. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Hey guys, Death Adder at the Death Shop here. Say so we're dwindling down on berry season, so we've only got like half of a uh, half of a pound of strawberries, half of a pound of raspberries. Never mind my dirty coffee cups too. It's actually good to keep the coffee oil in there. This is my surprise here, though. Well, I've got more than one surprise here. Got a bunch, and I do mean a bunch of peas. So there's a colander, I usually put it in, that bowl's even bigger. A lot of delicious peas, and I've already tried some. They are awesome, absolutely awesome. They uh, kind of rival the stuff from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Actually, they're better. The ones from Trader Joe's are good, but mine are, uh, I mean, how can you beat something from a garden, right? So we're coming outdoors. Pardon the camera work. <laughs> All right, coming back over. I think my neighbors came back out. Go take a look at uh, some things. First of all, these peas, yeah, there's still gonna be quite a few more, especially on that bush right there. Got my uh, deer deterrent, because they were munching on them. This is actually the fronds from the shallots that I put on bamboo steaks, and uh, yeah. They came in, they chewed on them once, and that was enough for me. They chewed on these ones over here, which didn't stop them from uh, actually producing a couple. There is a couple in there still. So, all right, here's another surprise for you though. Oh, let's see if we can do this without a shadow. Okay, so there's one. It's not growing anything yet. Yet. That's rest yet. There's two, and you can see in the middle, we've actually got an artichoke growing. We've got a very small one in the middle of that, and we've got a rather large one already starting to grow there. So that's really cool. Yeah, the potatoes up here, not too worried about those. They are uh, past their 90 days actually, so they're actually supposed to be looking like this. <laughs> I did not realize. I'm trying not to step on anything here, and I think I might have kicked the shell out on accident. We've got cantaloupe. More cantaloupe. See the green beans are just starting to grow. They're late season. This cantaloupe has a million blossoms on it. I think I might have to take some out. And that thing just spread out like crazy. I mean this is good four feet wide. Corn. 
and this was amazing today. I came out here and on several of these, I already had to massage the uh, massage the silk because we already got silk coming. Each one of those is going to be a piece of corn on your cob. So here's the deal. Black raspberries. <laughs> and I got something I need to take out of my garden. <laughs> None of these are ready yet. They're probably not going to be ready this week. So I'll give my neighbor something to pick while, I'm wa while they're watching the house. And that is going to be cool because that's, there's going to be a lot of berries there. And radishes, of course, that are all... <laughs> I let them go to seed just because I like the little purple flowers. It's cool. When there's only a few left, they don't really make a snack for me anymore. Now, here's the other crazy, crazy thing. I came over here to pick a weed. So one on this side was a weed, but... <laughs> you take a look at this potato plant. I actually got potatoes coming up out, out of the ground. So I think what I'll do is I'll use these ones as my... Uh, well, with the exception of the weed that's in the middle here, or actually this one was a wildflower, that's an alyssum. But it's in the garden, so it's a weed. But I think I'll use these ones as my, uh, uh, what would you call it, a, uh, uh, I guess an indicator as to what it's going to look like. Potato? Yeah. There's one on the other side too, so I'm going to use those as the indicator to tell me when to pull that whole big huge spot there. Pretty sure it'll be after I get back home. Turn some extra water on up top. Cherry trees are starting to look a little less droughty. <laughs> the maple actually did make a miraculous comeback. And I do have to come up here and weed whack before I leave. <laughs> I don't want any of that stuff to be there. Gonna probably come through with the uh, with the uh, Don Epsom salt vinegar combo. As you can see, it'll never grow off the very very top again, but it's doing quite fine down below. And we'll see if we can't maybe train it back up. So you can see the clover took over pretty well up here. It's kept the weeds at bay. They're not uh, totally gone, but it's a good start. And, of course, everything down below is looking really nice. Because, well, with the exception of the dry spots, but we've got the timers for that. As you can see, still a little droughty, but a lot more of the leaves opening up. We're giving it more water up here. Let's see, irises that have already done their thing. That white flower that's in the middle of the garden, I think I'm going to cut it because I don't like the smell of it at all. It stinks. Some things I do like the smell of and some things I don't. I decided to keep those there just because, eh, I'm like, yeah, why not? Just like I'm going to probably keep this purple clover patch. It's kind of semi sort of purple right here along with the alyssum. I just got to make sure that I cut and carve it back so we don't get strawberries. Like I said, the strawberry season, well, it isn't quite over yet. There's a couple left, but we've got round two going for the Tri-Stars because they're Everbearings and yeah, they've got blossoms already blossoming so they're going to be doing some stuff and of course the Ozark, Ozark Beauties are doing the runner thing now and I'm letting them run but only in particular areas. I'm going to try and establish just a couple plants at each, uh, each spot too. So I got to be careful about getting too many more down here because this is a place that I like to take off the peat at the beginning of the season and I've seen a couple bees today and it's been a cool day so no hornets and a few dragonflies like I always do <laughs> but yeah that's just my thing as you can see there is a uh, ton of those things that I shook off of the asparagus because I'm going to just turn this into a patch and have a huge patch of asparagus hopefully we'll see how it all pans out but anyway, did that or once again with the sun in my eyes <laughs> saying thanks for watching and uh, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up down below and comment because we like comments. Good, bad, or ugly. <laughs>
take care. Everybody stay safe out there.